This is Rob with SafeNet AT, and today we're integrating Entrust Security Manager with our Luna SA HSM for Government. We've already installed and configured the Luna client on the server. You can check our other guides for information on getting that set up. Running VTL Verify, we see that we have two slots available. And if we check on the Luna SA, we can view the partition and confirm the serial number of the partition. And we can use the partition show contents command to see that currently this partition is empty. So now let's run through an install of Intrust Security Manager. The first step is installing the database. For this, we'll go through and just accept the defaults. You can change these depending on your configuration. When installing the database, there are several users that are created, so you'll want to keep track of the passwords you set for these. We'll need that when we install Security Manager. For purposes of this video, I'll speed up a little bit until the next step. Now that we have the database installed, the next step is installing Security Manager itself. Again, for most of these options, we'll be selecting the defaults. You can change these options based on your configuration. On this last screen, we select the checkbox for Run Security Manager Configuration to automatically launch the next wizard. On this screen, you'll enter your serial number, enterprise user limit, and enterprise licensing code that you've obtained from Intrust. Again, for most of these, we'll select the defaults. This will change depending on your configuration. Once you've selected which directory you're using, you'll need to enter the CA distinguished name and password. This will vary depending on your configuration. For this video, I used OpenDJ. So I paste in the CADN and the password, and then click Test Bind Information to verify the connection. Same thing for the next screen. Again, we'll select defaults for most of these settings. On directory verification, you do want to scroll down and make sure that there were no errors. For this screen, you need to input the password of the current Windows user. On these next few screens, we'll need to enter the password that was created when we installed the database. For our configuration, we're using a root CI. And now on cryptographic information, we'll select Use Hardware. I'm keeping the defaults for the rest of these settings. Once these tabs are completed, the No Hardware Device Found dialog box will pop up. Click OK, and then browse to the cryptoki.dll file. In my installation, it's under Program Files, SafeNet, Luna Client, Win32. Now we select which slot to use. I'm using the first partition available. For this demo, I do not need the CRLs to work with Windows applications. For the CRL distribution point, I'll be using crl.pki.acme.com. Enter the URL, click Create from Settings, then Add, and then uncheck Include LDAP DN. Again, we'll accept the defaults here. And here on the final dialog box, I'm going to select the option to run Security Manager Control Command Shell Now. 
This will automatically launch the first time initialization process. The first thing it asks for is the password for the Luna SI. And then we need to create passwords for all of the default accounts that Security Manager creates. For purposes of this demo, I'm using the same password for all accounts, but you would want to use different passwords. This will take several minutes, so I'll speed up the video to get to the next point. Once it's completed, we can check back on our SA and use the partition show contents command to see that we have keys. Here we see a CA signing key, which is a private key used by Intrust. Once we hit return at the end of the initialization script, it will automatically close the window. Using the shortcut on the desktop, we can reopen the command shell. The first step is to log in using the user account master1 and the password that we set for that in the last step. Now that we have Security Manager installed and using the HSM, we can add another layer of security by enabling database hardware protection. Here we'll select the slot that we want to use for the HSM. Now that we have database hardware protection enabled, we can log out and log back in to verify. Notice now when we log in, the first prompt asks for the password for the HSM. Again, we'll log in as master1 using the password that we created during the configuration wizard. Now back on our SA, we use the partition show contents command again, and now we can see there's another object on there, this database protect key. We can also verify this in Security Manager using the CA key show CA hardware command. We can see while both slots are available, the hardware protection is enabled using slot 1. Another useful command is the database hardware protection query. This shows the HSM used and the algorithm being used for database protection. And we have now integrated Intrust Security Manager with our Luna SA HSM for Government.